Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Vipul Gupta. I hope everything is great at your end and you are enjoying this SQL interview preparation series. So guys, today I am back with another interview problem. This problem has been part of Google and Deloitte's data analyst interview. And in this video, we are going to discuss the step-by-step -step solution to this problem. So guys, before that, I have a recommendation for you. So once you understand the problem, you should pause this video and give it a try by yourself. It will not only help you to retain the problem for a longer duration, but also it will add the fun factor. Even I do practice this thing on regular basis. Also, before proceeding further, do not forget to hit the subscribe button so that you do not miss any update regarding the new videos. So let's get started with the problem. So guys, first of all, let's understand this problem statement. The title of this problem is election results. And in the problem statement, it is mentioned over here that an election is conducted in a city and everyone can vote for one or more candidates or choose not to vote at all. Each person has one vote. So they vote for multiple candidates. Their vote gets equally split across these candidates. That is, suppose I am voting for three different candidates and I just have one vote. So for all those three candidates, my vote will be split into three parts. That is, it will be one by three to all those three candidates. Now moving further, we need to find out who got the most votes and won the election. And we need to output the name of the candidate or multiple names in case of a tie. And also it is mentioned that to avoid issues with a floating point error, we need to round off the number of votes received by a candidate up to three decimal places. So guys, based on our understanding of this problem, let's make some quick notes and we will be referring them further. So the first point is, so we know that each person has just one vote and in case of multiple candidates he chose to vote then the vote will be splitted equally. So vote equals to 1 divided by number of candidates. Right? So suppose a single voter is voting for multiple candidates. So based on the number of candidates to whom that person has voted so the vote amount or the vote value will be 1 divided by the total number of candidates to whom he has voted right so that is vote value equals to 1 divided by number of candidates so now second thing is we need to find out the person or candidate with the maximum votes right also there can be possibility that if multiple candidates are getting equal number of votes then we have to print all those candidates name right and we need to consider while taking this sum, we need to round off up to three decimal places, right? So let's take a quick preview of this data set. So here we have two data points, voter and candidate. So guys, in the first record of this table, the candidate column is blank. That is, this voter Kathy has not given her vote to any of the candidates. Right? And since we just want to find the person or candidate with the maximum number of votes, so these kind of records can be filtered out. So let me make it a pointer here. Filter the records where candidate is null. Right? So basically it will help us to remove all those records where the voter has not given any vote to any of the candidates. Because we just want to play with the number of votes, right? So guys, now let's start writing our final query. So here you can see that we just have voter and candidate. Now we know that the vote value equals to 1 divided by the number of candidates. So first of all, we need to calculate this value. And for that, let's write a select statement. So select voter, then candidate. So now we want to find the vote value. So for that, we will be using 1 divided by count. So now we need to count. So I am using a window function here and I am counting the number of candidates, right? So 1 divided by count of candidate over. Since I want to split a single voter's vote for multiple candidates, so I will be using partition by voter, right? So now why I am using this partitioning here because for a single voter if he has voted for multiple candidates I want to split his vote only 
and then I want to take the count of candidate, right? So that is why I'm using partition by voter as uh, so let's give it a name vote value, right? From the table name is voting results. So voting results. Now Although we are using an aggregate function here, but since it is in the form of a window function and the grouping that we always do has been taken care by this partitioning, right? So there will be no grouping here, but we want to filter these records where candidate is null. So I will be using where candidate is not null, right? So now let's quickly execute this to see what we are getting. All right, so we are getting a voter, we are getting candidate and the vote value. So in this case, Andrew has given her vote to two different candidates. So that is why his vote has been split into two parts, that is one by two. So we are getting 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Similarly for Anthony, he has given his votes to five different candidates. So that is why his vote has been split into five different parts, right? So we are getting 0 0.2. So guys, now we have these three columns where we have voter, candidate and the vote value. And as per the ask of this problem, we want to find out the candidate with the maximum number of votes, right? So for that, what we can do, we can take a sum of the vote value with respect to the candidate, right? So guys, as per the ask of this problem, we need to print the candidate name who has the maximum vote value. Or in case of multiple candidates have the similar value of votes, then we need to print all those candidates, right? So guys, in this kind of scenarios, the best way is to use a window function. And by using a window function, we can give a rank to all those candidates. And in case of tie, we can give the similar rank and then we can filter them out, right? So first of all, we I am going to use the output of this table. So let me put it in the CTE. So with CTE as, because I am going to use this output in the further query. So I will be using with CTE. Now what do I want? I want I want to take the sum of this vote, vote value and the ranking. So I will be using candidate comma sum of vote value right as total votes right. Now I want to provide a ranking to all those candidates based on the vote value. So I will be using dense underscore rank. So guys, why I am using dense rank? Because as per our requirement, we want to print, we want to provide the same rank to all those candidates with the maximum number of votes. So rank and dense rank both can work, but row number will not be useful here, right? So I am using dense rank over now on what basis I want to give this ranking? I want to give this ranking on the basis of sum of vote value. So I will be using order by sum of vote value, right? Descending. Now we have this pointer that we have to round off this sum up to three decimal places. So I will be using round function here and here as well. So round of uh, total vote value up to three decimal places, right? Similarly, I will be using this round function here as well. So round. So I am rounding the sum of vote value up to three decimal places, right? So this will give me the candidate name. It will give me the total vote value for each candidate. And it will give me the ranking for all those candidates based on the number of votes they have received. Right. So let's give it an alias rn from. So we are using this table, right? CT. So we are passing this in the from column. So now after this keyword from, I will be using this CT because I am using the output of this query in this from statement, right? So from CT. Also, since we are using an aggregate function here and here. So we need to provide a group by clause and we are grouping or we are summing this vote value with respect to this data point that is candidate. So we need to provide group by candidate, right? 
So now let's execute this part. All right. So guys, now we have the candidate name, the total votes and the ranking. So now in the final output, what do we want to print? So guys, now we have three columns here in this output. We have candidate name, the total votes and the ranking. But as per the ask of this problem in the final output statement, we want to print just the name of the candidate with the maximum number of votes, right? So I will be putting this in an, another CTE. So I am using CT2 as, so let me put this part in another CT, right? So let me put it into braces, all right? So I am giving it an alias CT2, right? And now I will be using, so let me put a comma here. So this is the basic syntax of using multiple CTEs. So now. I will be writing the final select statement where I will be just printing the candidate name. So select candidate from CTE2. Now I just want this record because where the rank is the maximum. So I will be using where Rn equals to 1. So now putting this condition will just provide us the person or multiple candidates with the similar rank or the maximum number of votes. So now let's execute this statement all together. All right. So Christine is the candidate who has received the maximum number of votes in the election. So guys, this way we can attempt this kind of problem. So when the problem is very complex and we have to create multiple calculations. So CT is one of the most preferred option. The other way can be sub query, but this is something which is easier to understand, right? So sometimes it can be a situation that you have to use multiple CTs. So now in case of sub query, it is always confusing. So I personally prefer using CTs. And in this problem statement, you have seen that we have multiple calculations to do. So first of all, we need to find the vote value by dividing the number of candidates by one, right? And then we need to take the sum of the vote value and we want to provide a ranking. So that is why I have divided this into two different CTs. And once we are sorted with these two CTs, the output of these CTs, I have simply written a simple select statement. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you like this. In case you like this video, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe analytics with Vipul for more videos like this. Also, I am repeating this again. If you have any problem statement and you want me to make a solution video on that, you can share your problem either in the comment section below or you can reach out to me on my WhatsApp, LinkedIn, Instagram. Or you can send an email on analyticswithwipul at the rate gmail.com. All the details are mentioned in the description section below. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Happy learning.